So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I Swapnil Admane, along with my colleague Ashim Jana, and on behalf of entire NJ employee and NJ partner family, welcome you all on this Sunday morning. Thank you for joining on this Sunday morning. I know being a Sunday, it's a personal time, but since you know you have given this uh, time to listen to this session or joining this session, itself shows the uh, you know. Uh, you can say the uh, inquisitiveness and interest to learn about new things, you know, about in, uh, investing. So, on, from the bottom of our heart, I would like to thanks uh, uh, for joining this session. So, without wasting your time, I would uh, like to, uh, you know, uh, continue my presentation. Ashim or Jaswinder, is it visible? Yes, it is visible. Yeah, thank you. So today's uh, uh, topic session is, you know, uh, uh, session's topic is need-based investing. So this need has played an important role in entire human uh, civilization or human evolution. You now you can see. So we have invented uh, wheel or we have invented fire or we have started doing farming, agriculture. It's just because that was a need of an hour. Okay. So whenever there was a strong need, we tried to invent something new. And that's why in human civilization, it is always said that non need is a mother of invention. You know? In human civilization, ups are always permanent and uh, downs are always temporary. Okay. So similarly, how we can bring the, uh, this need-based approach in our investing so that we can make this investing more uh, you know, uh, user-friendly or uh, wherein we can uh, earn the return which is required for building our wealth or accomplishing our need. So today's agenda would be, you know, we will see what is the role of an investor in mutual fund, what should be rather, and then uh, why investor don't make money, why we should not chase the performance, why need-based investment we should do it and how we, should, uh, how we can do it, and how we can create our need on NJ eWell platform. And the, we will uh, uh, take the question and answer session. So as far as role of investor is concerned, I feel role of investor in mutual fund should be passive. That means less the in intervention, better will be uh, for the investor. So why mutual fund? Because mutual fund is a regulated product. Okay, It is managed by the expert fund manager and research worker who does uh, day in day out or research work for various market and then they invest your money. Thirdly, diversification in the various asset class as well as uh, you know in the securities that's why we have opted for mutual fund now you know uh, uh, the advantage of mutual fund is that uh, for your time horizon or investment horizon there is a uh, prescribed category for example if you want to invest for a one month period then you know there is a liquid fund there are liquid fund for a period of 3 to 6 month investment there are money market fund for a period of more than one year investment, there is an ultra short term fund. In this category, you may get negative, positive, volatile return till the time that threshold horizon arrives. Okay, you may get negative, positive, volatile return. But once you cross the threshold limit, chances are more that you will get the positive return. And for that, you need to have patience. Similarly, if we talk about equity, Equity is meant for more than five years. So for first five years, you may get positive, negative, volatile return. And uh, after five years, chances are very high that you will get the positive return, though there is no guarantee in mutual fund. Okay. As far as investor role is concerned, what we should control? Control the controllable. It is always said that control the controllable. So according to us, you know, risk is into investor's control. So how we can control the risk by having uh, asset allocation? Rather than investing 100 rupees into equity, we should invest some part of money into equity, uh, other part into debt or gold. Thereby, risk associated with the particular asset class will, can be mitigated. Cost we can control rather than uh, trading the mutual fund like share. Okay, you can invest for a long term. Thereby, uh, the uh, uh, cost in terms of exit load or cost in terms of short term capital gain can be mitigated. Okay. Time is in our uh, control, so equity is meant for long term. If you stay invested for uh, uh, more than five years or ten years, then probably you will get the better return rather than staying for one year. Behavior is in your control, so uh, when market is going down, rather than getting panic, you should stay invested. 
and when market is going up rather than being greedy you should keep on uh, you should or, or be, be, uh, booking the profit you should stay invested so these all factors are our control but hardly we focus on that our entire focus is on generating higher return or identifying the scheme which is giving higher return and thereby you know uh, we want to uh, switch the scheme and believe me you know you cannot control this factor so this is our entire focus is on generating return but it is not in our control so uh, we have seen that equity is for longer run but are investors are uh, investing for a longer run or not so this is the you know uh, one interesting slide which i got on a money control and they have presented as a sebi consultation paper in which uh, sebi has mentioned uh, you know they have profiled the investor based on their investment horizon so in 2022-23 almost 50% of the investor who redeemed the money in from equity scheme they came into equity below one year okay 23% of the investor who redeemed the money from 1 to 2 year uh, 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 in 2022-23 they were into the equity scheme from last 1 to 2 years and 10% were stayed invested you know from 2 to 3 years so overall 83% of the investor who redeemed the money in 2022-23 were less than uh, 3 years and we are talking about invest uh, equity investment is a long term why is it happen because they have not configured their investment or associate their investment to certain kind of needs this is a reason and we have uh, try we try to analyze the reason why investor don't make the money and we found certain observation the very first observation is that you know people in, invest money when marketed on on unreasonable valuation so this valuation terminology in a technical term is called as pe price to earning ratio it is simple uh, no simple meaning of pe is that how much money you want to pay to earn 1 rupees from the market okay when uh, pe is high that means you are paying more money to earn 1 rupee and at that point of time markets going up because of that people want to invest more money when markets are down to earn 1 rupee we need to invest uh, less pe is low but people try to redeem the money that's the reason when people uh, you know invest on a cycle of fear greed and hope when markets are going up people become greedy and they try to invest more and more money when markets are down people become fearful and that's why they uh, go out, uh, they come out of the market as early as possible warren buffett has also uh, when uh, said that ki when mark uh, be fearful when markets are uh, when others are greedy and when uh, be greedy when others are fearful but we do exactly opposite of that asset allocation is like yoga you know it's a more of a uh, talking terminology rather than practicing one okay so everybody talks about yoga but hardly very few people do do it okay similarly asset allocation asset allocation means what rather than putting all eggs in one basket you should invest some part of your money into equity some part into debt some part into gold so that the risk associated with a certain asset class can be mitigated okay people somehow start uh, doing uh, normally do asset allocation but they don't do periodic rebalancing and there they make the mistakes perception and reality means people uh, you know risk associated with the market and risk associated in the mind of investor are exactly you know inversely proportional so when markets are going up to on one rupee we need to pay more per up okay so actual risk in the market is high but perceived risk in the mind of investor is very low and they invest when markets are going down p is low, low okay actual risk in the market is very low but perceived risk in the mind of investor is very high and that's why they don't invest or they want to redeem the money and investor take irrational decision during the time of euphoria and extreme fear so when markets are uh, you know creating newer and newer high people want to sell everything or uh, take a loan and want to invest into the market and when market is going down people want to uh, sell all the securities from the market and uh, come out of the market as early as possible these are the various reason okay and why you should not chase the performance so i have just uh, you know brought some uh, analysis for you 
so since it's a investor meet and we are not supposed to talk about any particular scheme or show the scheme name as per the sebi norms that's why uh, we ha i have masked the uh, name of the scheme what did i do i have uh, taken the data as on 15 january 2021 for a large cap scheme okay based on their one year performance so highest return uh, giving scheme is at uh, is rank 1 and the lowest uh, uh, return is at the bottom of the table so if you see this abc scheme which are among the top performing scheme on a one year basis okay and if i ask you in 2021 where do you want to invest in large cap obviously as an investor you have seen the performance for one year and based on that uh, you have opted to invest in abc scheme okay and xyz scheme is at the bottom of the table similarly the investor who have uh, invested in xyz scheme looking at uh, their performance they would have thought they should redeem this money from xyz and should invest that money into abc scheme and some of them might have done also okay but what happened 28 april 2023 exactly 3 months back if you see the bottom of the uh, uh, bottom scheme in the table has now come at the top of the table and the top of the table scheme has now uh, gone uh, to the bottom of the table so the uh, those people who have seen the performance of abc scheme in 2001 uh, 2021 and invested in that would have returned on nothing okay and the worst thing is happened to the existing investor who were invested in xyz scheme and they uh, xyz scheme and they uh, took out their money and invested in abc scheme so for entire stretch of let's say 3 uh, and 1/2 year they would have earn nothing okay or very less return but if you see the 15 year performance kind of thing you know whether it's a xyz scheme or abc scheme you will find it is you know their their performance is somewhere uh, matching to each other it is for a lump sum investment okay but it is not only true to large cap it is true to the large and mid cap category or small cap category or multi cap category or uh, you know uh, any type of category if you see the schemes which were at the top of the table okay will come at the bottom of the table and schemes which are at the bottom of the table will come at the top of the table but if you see the long term performance let's say 15 year 20 year return all the scheme whether it's a top performing or bottom performing scheme in one year will deliver almost similar kind of return in the you know long run so you can check by your own also it is not only true to the lump sum it is also true for sip so again what we have done we have taken the sip performance from the 1999 okay scheme which were into existence in 1999 on one yearly basis okay again i have masked the scheme name okay and we have done the sip of 10000 rupees in each scheme okay and we have seen the performance over a period of long run and the performance is up to 2000 uh, 31st march 2023 now what are the observation if you see for the first three year or for the first year for that instance out of 26 scheme 25 scheme were delivering negative return the only scheme which has delivered a positive return has given you 7.17% return and the worst scheme has delivered you 55% kind of return okay for the first three years almost 90% of the scheme were giving you uh, negative return okay but after 5 years none of the scheme has delivered you negative return and as on today on 31st march 2023 if you see none of the scheme has delivered you negative return even the worst return giving scheme has delivered you 10.9% kind of return okay this is the only one scheme the next worst scheme is almost on the 14% kind of return so if you consider the average return then it would have been 17 or 17.5% and with 10.9% it is 16.67%. So even the worst fund has given a better return over a long period of time. So again uh, we have done the deep digging and uh, found out that uh, you know the uh, best performing scheme in a one year basis has delivered you 7.17% kind of return has delivered 17.59% uh, as on 31st March 2023. and the worst performing scheme which has delivered you 55.09% kind of return also delivered you 17.47% kind of return so at the start whether your sip is giving you positive return or negative return it doesn't matter if you stay invested for long period of time no 
it will uh, always uh, you will find that both the scheme is on the uh, same range or uh, hardly one or two percent here and there almost if you see these schemes other schemes also which has given you uh, better return then the worst performing scheme has given you either same uh, range of return what did we understood so we understand that we, all funds rarely perform equally well because if you are having seven or 10 scheme it's hardly impractical that all your 10 scheme will be number one throughout their lifespan some scheme will be number one some scheme will be number two so it is important to diversify to important to diversify uh, fund okay so if you see you know you should have in, uh, invested in large cap mid cap actively managed fund rule based fund uh, passive fund so you know, that is called a real diversification so at some point of time your some fund will be in the quartile one and at other instances other funds will be at quartile one so thereby it will help to balance your near term performance gap so you at all the time you will be nearer to average return okay and it is important in any scheme whether you are investing into equity large cap mid cap or small cap please stay there throughout the complete cycle when market is up please stay invested when market is down you have to stay invested okay rather than just looking at the recent return normally people hop around the scheme by looking at the recent return that is wrong so what are the ingredients to build your wealth well uh, now i would like to cite these five uh, points for building your wealth first and foremost thing is that identify your need okay why needs so let's take an example other than uh, investment what is your memorable memorable day probably those who are married okay uh, wedding day is one of the most memorable day so if i ask you what was the menu of uh, your food at that day so on that day so very few people will recall it okay some people will uh, recall few uh, you know cuisine but most of them will not <laughs> and some people will to even don't want to recall the date okay so jokes apart but such a memorable day in your life but still we don't uh, recall all the event or on a food menu of uh, that day and here we are talking about investing which will uh, you know for our needs which will uh, get mature after 10 year 15 year or uh, 20 year down the line and how will you recall after that so that is what you know which scheme is invested for which need it is very much important so first identify your need and make sure that it will be available to your eyes 24 by 7 whenever you want second save more let's say if you are having 20 lakh rupees with you and your need is to earn 1 crore rupees after 10 years down the line if you invest let's say this uh, 10 out of 20, you know you were having 20 lakh but you have invested only 10 lakh uh, into equity which has given you 15% uh, kind of return so with 15% kind of return in 10 years you will generate hardly 40 lakh rupees and rest 10 lakh rupees you have invested into fd so hardly you will be earning 60 70 lakh rupees but you require 1 crore so despite of investing in the best of the best return giving scheme you have on only 70 lakh rupees okay so that is why you have to save more have your proper asset allocation what happened normally your 10 percent money goes into equity and 90 percent money goes into debt or fd kind of thing now even if you invest this 10 percent kind of return in the best of the best scheme let's say 20 percent you will hardly earn two percent from that equity portion and 90 percent is invested into fd which is delivering you five percent kind of return so you will be earning only 4.5 4.5 plus 2 you will hardly earn 6.5 which is less than inflation so irrespective of having you know best of the best scheme in your portfolio it just because you have not maintained proper asset allocation you will not earn the desired rate of return so have a proper asset allocation for if you have opted for equity stay invested for long term and that is where this need will help you to recall that uh, long term investment approach and fourth uh, fifth manage your emotion okay those who are uh, now keeping emotions out of investment those people will only earn into equity so what are those emotion in our investor behavior parlance we call it as a recency bias normally people are associated with the recent events so if the market is going up they feel that this event will be permanent and they, that's why they want to invest more and more money when 
market is going down they feel that it is a permanent event and they want to redeem that money second is risk of loss aversion when market goes down people think that i should not left out because of the herd mentality or i should not be the last one i want to make my loss minimum that's why whether they require money or not they will redeem the money and third one is mental accounting this is a good emotion you can say if you are having mental accounting it means for every need if you assign your investment or you uh, know a, 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 a portion your uh, investment okay for that you will you know your mind will keep on recalling whenever you want to redeem the money or you want money if you want let's say if you assign some money for your children education need and in between if you require money so your mind will give you the alert that this money is only for children education whether you want to redeem it or not so probably you will not redeem so this is what mental accounting is all about so what could be our uh, need well that could be uh, there could be any need but main needs are you now higher education for our children marriage uh, uh, you know uh, expenses for marriages of our children our own retirement buying new car new home or a foreign tour this could be our future needs so you know one thing is sure for every need there is a different rate of inflation that cost of that particular need varies from the other need for example this particular you know uh, image shows that in a education the inflation goes up by 10% okay for last year and it also varies with the family size okay so young married people uh, couple will have a different uh, you know needs as well as and the uh, inflation rate will be different for a married couple with two couple, uh, kids will have a different need and uh, a different rate of inflation senior citizen will have a different rate of inflation so you have to categorize or you have to calculate uh you know your value of your need accordingly based on this inflation just to give an example let's take a exam uh, no, let's take a common uh need that is children education now the cost of today's education is let's say 25 lakhs to fulfill this uh same uh, style of education from same college after 10 year down the line it will actually cost you 54 lakh rupees normally people pursue that if it is 25 lakh rupees as in today it will hardly become 30 lakh or 35 uh, after 10 years down the line but if you assume the inflation rate of 8 percent it will become 54 lakh rupees you know after 10 years down the line now to achieve this need or accomplish this need you now you need to start a sip of 24000 rupees per month if we assume 12 percent return from the sip okay Many of you probably not been a position to start a SIP of 24,000 rupees, but there is a concept called SIP top up. With the help of that, you will find that the amount is now come down to 20,000 rupees. And if you do a SIP top up of 1,000 rupees every year, means for first 12 months, it will be 20,000 rupees per month. From 13 months, it will be 20, 000, uh, 21,000 rupees per month. From 25th month, it will be uh, 12,000 rupees, uh, sorry, uh, 22,000 rupees per month, likewise. So now you will comfortably uh, achieve that need or accomplish that need. So longer is better because the more you have period to save, the lesser you need to save. Okay. And with the SIP top of again, that amount will be lesser. Again, the next calculator is just to, you know, lot many people start randomly. I want to invest 2000 rupees per month or 5000 rupees per month. and they haphazardly start with any amount okay though they are having a capacity to invest more now what is the advantage of save more if you start a sip of 5000 rupees okay and assuming 12 percent kind of return in 15 years you will be earning almost 24 lakh rupees okay but you are having a capacity to start a sip of 10,000 rupees and increasing it by 1000 rupees okay for the same period now you will be earning 20 uh, 71 lakh rupees so you were having a capacity but you didn't uh, configure your need because of that you started haphazard figure of sip you will uh, build less well so this is why you should focus on identifying the need so uh, in our system when we uh, try to analyze we came to know that he uh, uh, those investors who still invested more than for uh, five years 
have earned almost 12% kind of return, more than 12% kind of return. And investor, those invested from uh, more than uh, 10 years have earned almost 12% kind of return. Okay. So we further uh, try to categorize this investor into various uh, return slab. And still, you know, uh, these, are, these are not the investor who invested only in a single scheme. Okay. In this five year or 10 year, they might have changed the scheme, you know, uh, in between. So still there were, you know, uh, some investor who have earned negative return even after 10 years investing. And there were, uh, there are majority investor who earn more than 10% kind of return in the same period. So we tried to uh, discuss this issue with their distributor. We tried to, uh, you know, uh, identify why this investor, majority of investor has earned more than 10% kind of return or 12% kind of return. One thing which came, you know, uh, evidently is that those investor was very much clear about their financial need or their distributor has uh, emphasized to, in, uh, you know, uh, to assign investment for certain needs. And they were having some, uh, you can say, arrangement wherein they could actually uh, 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 recall their needs at a periodic period, of, uh, regular period of time. So that is what the idea. So. This you can do very, uh, this very much you can do on our evil platform. Okay, so we have given the, uh, we have started the facility of need best investing uh, in our evil platform. Okay, obviously most of you are having evil platform. So this access has been given uh, to the investor, extended to the investor, because you know your condition very well. You will take rational and logical, uh, you know, uh, step while calculating uh, the value of your need. So that is the uh, idea behind extending the rights to the investor. Earlier, we used to have this need on our client desk, but now it has given on our evil desk so that in a single login ID password on evil desk, you can do investment as well as you can view the, uh, you know, your value of your investment and asso associate with your needs. Earlier it was uh, happening on a, fan, a group level. Now it is happening on an investor level. Though you can club uh, your family members evil account in a single parent account and you can map uh, those investment to various needs. So facility to consolidate on a family with mapping of evils. So there will be uh, uh, one person in the family obviously who, who takes the decision or who is a decision maker or head of the family. Okay he will be or she will be called as a uh, parent account and rest of the family members uh, will be called as a child account all this child account uh, evil account will be mapped to the parent account and accordingly they can map their uh, investment to various needs create need with the inbuilt goal, uh, goal planning calculator we have uh, keep the uh, we have kept the uh, you know uh, this calculator dynamic calculator wherein you can uh, arrive at a, a certain figure of your uh, comfort level or which is more uh, suitable to your demographic and uh, requirement. And this is the innovative thing which we have done earlier. One scheme was assigned to one single need. Now you can assign multiple needs to a single scheme. So a portion of scheme you can assign to need one, you can uh, assign po another po uh, some po uh, a portion to need two and rest of the portion to need three. So you don't have to invest into different scheme for different need. Okay. And we have taken into consideration the effect of SIP top up. Obviously, because during the top up, your investment value will keep on increasing over a period of time. Earlier client is, uh, utility was not taken into consideration. Now we have taken the cognizance of this. Now, what are the steps? The first step is that if you are having a multiple uh, e-wealth account of your family, make sure that you will consolidate those e-wealth account to a parent account, means the person who is taking the investment decision or head of the family. And then you have to create the need. So third, you have to map the investment. And four, after that, you can view the needs, how it is possible. So how to create needs? You can create needs by your own from e both on e app or on a website. So those who have not e app, I request you to download the e app on uh, your mobile. It is available and 
on Google Play Store as well as iOS. Okay, and uh, from website. So website, there is a primary menu and down a dashboard. Both uh, can be used for creating the need. So how will it? Or so, uh, if you still don't understand it or you find it difficult, so you can take a help of your distributor, our NJ partners. They will assist you to create the need on your behalf. Okay. So on your website profile uh, profile menu, if you click on that, there is a drop down menu. Uh, drop down menu. In that manage family need, you have to click on that. Once you click on this family uh, 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 manage family need, you can create the need. Or on the dashboard at the bottom of the page, there will be this particular uh, message reflecting family needs. If you click on this go, you will start creating the need. So after create uh, clicking the page, no, you will arrive on you will be landing on this page. Okay. So there are three types your need view uh, map need wherein you can map the need and by default there will be create need so you have to first start the create need for your uh, to make your life simple we have categorized your need into seven types so retirement is a one def uh, default wherein default need will be there lot many people want to build well there is a need of purchase of home there is a need of children education if you are if you are having more than one child then you can put the you know customized name of a uh, child for that also you know child uh, there is a need for marriage of children uh, children purchasing a new car and there is a other need in other need you can uh, you know define the need like donation or inheritance or seeding capital for startup of uh, startup business for your children like for anything so you can create n number of needs from this utility so as i said you know default is retirement so if you click on retirement there is a custom name you can uh, type uh, the you know uh, name which is also which you can associate uh, in future also so like for in, you know in my example i i may type shama and swapnil retirement need okay here you need to add your current age here in retirement age, you need to add the uh, uh, age at what you want to retire. And here you want to uh, you need to add current monthly expenses. Okay, the moment you add this, the dynamic calculator will show you the retirement kitty which you require at the time of retirement. Okay, obviously there are certain assumptions. If you click on this assumption button, so expected rate of return is 12% means you are uh, you are expecting your return will give uh, investment will give 12% kind of return if you are an aggressive uh, investor if you are a moderate investor request you to keep 10% kind of uh, return and if you are conservative kind of return you can put it into 8 to 9% kind of uh, return these return uh, these are all predefined uh, uh, pre filled uh, uh, you know field which will be prompt by system you can change it very well so retire return on the retirement it is eight percent life expectancy is considered as 90 percent you can change it okay before uh, pre-retirement you know before retirement what is the inflation rate and after retirement what is the inflation rate okay now after putting this dynamic calculator will show you the value if you feel that this is very steep target which you can't uh, uh, achieve you can set your own target just you have to click on this uh, uh, checkbox set my own target once you click on this you can add the number which you want but please make sure that you uh, put logical number and also rather than it's an excel calculation or you know, normal calculation please arrive a logical number for your monthly expenses okay because lot many people find it difficult so to make their uh, life simpler uh, now we have brought the three types of expenses which you take into consideration first is your non-discretionary expenses these are the expenses which are going to happen now whether you want it or not like household expenses grocery paying the utility bill maintenance paying for made because these are the expenses which are going to incur even after your retirement there are certain uh, expenses which are not coming monthly but on a yearly basis like paying your insurance premium property tax periodic medical tests if your son is residing let's say in uh, canada or outstation so 
foreign country so you need to travel once in a year so for, you have to take into consideration those expenses also okay and there are certain expenses which uh, you would like to spend at your discretion for example after retirement you want to go with, uh, go for a dinner and movie every week with your spouse so these are the expenses also you have to take in, uh, take into consideration so all these expenses will add in this current monthly expense figure and after that you have to find out so let's take another need like purchase of home so here you have to again mention uh, you know, purchase of my dream home then target month or year at what period you want to buy it okay and you have to put the uh, today's cost so automatically system will trigger that you know in this example it is february 2030 uh, means seven year down the line and the cost of one crore home will become 1.5 crore with the rate of inflation again these are the two images you know we have incorporated some changes wherein system will take the uh, expected rate of return now here both the needs are same purchase of home but here if you see expected rate of return is 4% system has taken automatically and here it has taken 12% why is it so because here the goal is mentioned in the year february 2024 means almost you know seven months down the line so obviously for seven months uh, down the line uh, maturity of any need what will happen you cannot invest all the money into equity okay for that system has taken into consideration that you will put your money into liquid fund or arbitrage fund or overnight fund which will deliver you four percent but the moment if you put the need uh, which is going to mature at the year uh, in the year 2050 system will take automatically 12 percent kind of return though you can change it but request you not to change and uh, have a moderate expectation about the return okay so once you uh, once you have added all the you know needs next step is mapping your investment now what we, how will you do it so to map your investment again you need to go to that profile page manage investment and now the second utility first utility was great need second utility map need okay once you click on this so here you will be uh, finding the status of your investment so your total portfolio size in this case is let's say 16 17 crore almost you have not uh, mapped the single scheme to any uh, you know uh, need that's why it is shown zero and rest of the amount is unmapped now you have to select uh, you know need for which you need to map the investment and here you are having an option to show the monthly cash flow or no if you, you know i will strongly uh, suggest you to uh, you know uh, tick this and apply this once you click on this the scheme name in which you have invested will reflect over here and the current value of those scheme will be showing so sip stp which are adding into the scheme or swp stp which are going out of the scheme will be mentioned over here and accordingly uh, available for mapping percentage will be shown now if you click on one scheme let's say for the first scheme now you can map multiple needs to this scheme so this scheme name will be appear over here and the need list of the needs will be appearing in a drop down menu you have to decide how much portion of that scheme you have to allocate to what need so accordingly you can add uh, those need and allocation and you have to update it okay once you have updated you are having a choice to edit those allocation over a period of time if you feel that after some point of time this particular need doesn't require uh, this much of allocation you can change in between similarly uh, you know you are, if you are invested in mars a mars portfolio can be uh, mapped to multiple uh, you know needs and if you are having njpms even in njpms an uh, individual strategy can be mapped to a multiple investment or uh, needs so now after finishing the uh, you know mapping you can also see the uh, uh, latest status so in this case let's say out of 16 crore we have mapped only 2 lakh so only 0.15 percent is mapped rest is now unmapped now you are having a choice whether to map it or not okay but the third step is now viewing the need okay so how you can view the need again if you go to the uh, you know uh, your uh, uh, dashboard it will be uh, available on the dashboard only if you click on the need count 
it will show uh, this type of uh, image wherein individual needs will be reflecting and accordingly the value of that need and expected return at the same time additional investment required to accomplish that need will be uh, in terms of sip as well as lump sum will be reflected okay so how it will be uh, seen so in this is a uh, better image i can say so on the top it will be having the summarized version okay of all the needs how much investment you have mapped how much is unmapped and how much additional investment you require to accomplish all your need here there will be individual need now if you see there are we have uh, incorporated the alert button over here so uh, and with the message your need is additional uh, you you need additional investment congrats you are uh, on the track and third one is you are it to map your investment so uh, i'm just taking the closure version of this particular uh, slide so first thing is that you know uh, if you have certain goal let's say 4 crore or certain need which is going to mature in the year 2038 and you have mapped a certain investment to that let's say 2.62 lakh system will show you this 2.62 lakh will become 14.33 lakh over a period of time if you uh, you know if you are expecting 12% kind of return still there is a gap of 3.85 crore left so to achieve this 3.85 crore gap you need to start a sip of 81000 or lump sum of 70 lakh 61000 so that's why this message is reflected you need additional investment in the second need if you if you have seen closely so for the uh, second need 4 crore was required wherein you have mapped 3.02 crore system is saying that if you uh, growing if you are growing by 12% you will get 16.88 uh, crore that means you have very, you will very much achieve this need so there is a surplus of 4, 12 crore 47 lakhs what you can do you can now unmap this surplus amount and map to these uh, uh, need wherein you require additional investment or where you have not mapped any investment the third need wherein you, you have created the need but you have not mapped a single uh, you know uh, scheme for that here the message will be reflecting you are able to map any investment so this will give you a, a ease of you know mapping or unmapping the need and you will come to know okay, how much additional you want to invest in terms of sip as well as lump sum as far as parent child uh, you know mapping is concerned so uh, parent is a, a one who is taking the decision or investment decision on their family's behalf okay and rest of the family member okay can be a child uh, evil account so how you can map your uh, uh, family members evil account once you go on your evil account uh, on a dashboard there is uh, on a, below your name there is a tab called add your family members once you click on that there is another tab manage multiple account if you click on that you have to just add uh, add map you have to click on add mapping request by doing so you can add multiple evil account of your family members okay for that you require their pan number their name uh, uh, relationship with the uh, family member and their ucc number if you click on that okay you can add as many as family members evil account to your uh, parent account but uh, you know this is only for uh, viewing purpose you cannot do any transaction on their behalf this is just for only mapping of your uh, family needs okay from your child account similarly you can unmap whenever you want to unmap uh, them from your parent account okay so family need on evil uh, you can do the family need on your evil account app also so from app once you download the app and if you put a login id password there is a menu button if you click on the menu button again that manage family need uh, uh, this uh, uh, tab will come then we have to create family need you have to view and map family need and once you have uh, mapped the investment you can see the your family need just like this okay it's a self explanatory i don't need to uh, uh, explain anything for that so accordingly for individual uh, need also your current value target value and what is the additional requirement uh, for that particular need will be reflecting over here so it is very much handy for you so what did we see importance of family need why is it required first it guides you as i told you most of the investor initially start their investment with their any random amount okay 
even though they are having a uh, you know a choice to invest more but by doing uh, family need we have come across with the uh, you know experience that people actually increase their investment because now they thoroughly understand why they want to invest okay so it guides you most of the investor who doesn't uh, associate their investment to any kind of need normally they invest for a gaining from the market when the market is going up they want to redeem or uh, no they want to uh, book the profit this will not happen now since you have uh, mapped your investment with your need so your entire focus will be to accomplish those need rather than finding the performance okay it is in your interest because you were having sufficient money to invest and now you have uh, created the need so once you accomplish your need who will be the uh, happiest person obviously you so it is in your interest it will give you long term investment approach rather than you know investing from one scheme to another scheme and uh, changing the scheme frequently now your focus will be entirely how to accomplish that need it will help you to prioritize investment commi uh, commitment so in future in future if uh, you know uh, if you are getting any salary increment or uh, uh, unexpected profit or uh, bonus now you will first try to invest to accomplish those need this will help you to the stickiness of the investment because mar uh, market up or down will not bother you your entire focus is how i should accomplish my invest uh, investment need and thereby you will keep on investing for that need so we have taken the cognizance of your uh, you know uh, investment of sip or swp into uh, this calculation so how we have calculated the projective uh, future value whatever your current value of investment we have assumed you know it will grow by expected rate of return mentioned by you and not the scheme performance return okay so what are expected return you have mentioned we have assumed the current value of that investment will grow by that rate whatever sips and stps are coming into the scheme we have assumed that it will last till the need maturity that means if your need is let's say 15 year down the line and you have you have done the sip only for 5 year system will assume that this sip will continue for 15 years and not the 5 years till the need maturity that means Uh, you will renew your sip after 5 years similarly for swp and stp so if there is a swp and stp for 5 years and your need is for 20 years we are considering that this swp stp will last till the need maturity so that the negative impact of this will be considered okay so what should you do so crux you no know, whatever we have seen so far the Uh, final outcome is that map your family members evil account in a single parent account that is the most important because then it will give you a holistic picture okay so you are investing on your spouse name or children name then it is much logical that you should consolidate all these uh, account to a single parent account and create the needs thereafter so create various need identify what needs you are uh, you want to achieve in future Pr probably in uh, map all the investment please do not keep any investment unmapped that will give you better picture okay in a single account and that will give you a logical picture with how much gap you uh, you need to invest further okay in form of sip or lump sum try to consolidate of all your mutual fund investment because let's say the, by doing so you can do uh, you, you can create or map those investment which are with you know your nj distributor and that to online if you are having other investment outside nj distributor it is more logical to bring them on one platform consolidate them and then you can map it okay thereby you will get a holistic picture wherein you will come to know how much additional money you require to achieve or accomplish that need okay so holistic picture will be there and review your portfolio once in a year with your distributor so whatever needs you have created whether it's a appropriate mapping is done proper or not they will help you out they they are trained uh, to you know uh, review your portfolio they will show you what is the asset allocation they will show you what is the cash flow you have uh, invested you know from last 5 years what is the uh, allocation to each and every amc 
how um, uh, your SIPs uh, uh, investments are into and uh, what are the gap to achieve your financial need. So all these they will help you. Okay, and focus on need accomplishment rather than chasing the performance. This is again I am trying to reiterate because not many people are chasing the performance because they have not created the need. But by creating family need on e well, your entire focus will be on need accomplishment rather than chasing the fund performance. So with this, I would like to end my session, and I would like to uh, I, I know. Uh, please feel free to ask any question or doubt. So thank you. Yes, uh, Shim. Yeah, thank you. Uh, am I visible, sir? Yes, yes, you are visible. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, Swami sir, for uh, for enlightening us uh, for uh, with the words of wisdom, because uh, uh, whatever you have said in your presentation, that uh, that the steps what uh, investors uh, will make a investor from an ordinary investor to a successful investor, I believe. And there are many questions, and uh, uh, but uh, most of them are operational types. But we have selected few questions uh, to be asked. And the first question which I have jotted out is like, I have, if I have a, most of the question you have answered, but uh, it is a retreat to everyone uh, out there. So first question is, if I have multiple uh, accounts and multiple investment in different accounts. So how, how can I consolidate and uh, map my needs towards that investments? Well, uh, there are two ways, okay, uh, wherein you can uh, consolidate all your family members uh, account to a single account. One from your e account, there is a uh, option called, uh, you know, uh, below your name, there is a add family member tab is there. From that, you can add your family members uh, account. And second, you can take a help of NJ distributor. They will help you out how, uh, you know, so that you can add your family members. But by adding your family members, you know, you are ensuring that all your family's investment will be consolidated to one place and thereby you are assigning those investment to various needs. Otherwise, what will happen? Investment done in your uh, evil account, you can map to the, uh, your uh, need, okay? But uh, having said this, okay, I'm again I'm again reiterating that you will not do any kind of transaction on your family member's behalf. Transaction rights are still with your family member. Only mapping and viewing rights are available with you, okay, for uh, uh, you know family need. So uh, you can uh, use that uh, investment for mapping the needs, okay. Child account means family members account will not be in a position to see the needs created by you. They can create their own needs. They can uh, you know, map their investment to their own needs. But whatever amount left after you have mapped the, uh, you know, any particular need. So that is a main reason. And uh, for that, our distributor engine partner is there. Just a call away. You can meet them or have a clinic. Similarly, I'm that for a review request to to, to a online meeting or one to one meeting, but please do it once in a year. This will you now give you current status about your investment as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so one more uh, complicated compliment plus questions. Ki, uh, like uh, one of the gentlemen has said, ki they are managing this kind of goals and uh, on the excel basis and it is very tedious and difficult to na, track all the investment and values uh, in one page so it's a very good tool that's a compliment and question associated to it is like uh, if we have different sips at different point of time for example i have started with 5000 and later on i have started i have increased the amount to 10000 so will this tool automatically capture it or i have to map or unmap uh, firstly, uh, thank you for appreciation and uh, you know in Excel or in a paperwork what will happen that Excel may get corrupt or probably in paperwork that uh, will not uh, your additional investment will not get mapped. Okay, here if you invest in a, a same scheme automatically it will get captured. Okay, because the same scheme is mapped to multiple needs. But if you invest in a different scheme then that uh, different scheme will not get mapped another scheme 
okay you have to map it by your your side then only it will start reflecting uh, in that uh, need gap or, or, or uh, family need utility i hope i'm clear yeah 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 plus you have said sir ki every year you have to review your portfolio so in that period if something is to be added or uh, or uh, there is a shortfall in investment that can also be considered in the review right yes uh i think with the time permissible we can take the last question uh if my investment is done uh, with nj and plus i have two other uh, no verticals or channels so how can i uh, consolidate and uh, map my uh, investments for that our nj partners and distributors are there to help you out but by doing so and uh, it is of your choice you have to uh, take a decision but you uh, know uh, this will help you to bring all the investment under one platform and map it to your financial needs because your needs are common but investment is uh, scattered with various distributor or brokers so if you bring it on a one platform it will be more logical for you to see the progress and see the gap amount okay and with this uh, you will come to know that uh, what are the schemes are uh, which are not performing or probably which uh, scheme you need to change if you want to change okay so these distributor are trained to uh, you know uh, uh give the review about your investment done outside nj as well so please uh, have a discussion have a word with them so that they will give uh, they will provide these services to you thank you thank you sir thank you uh, thank you sir i, I think i have uh, we have covered uh, the almost the uh, questions other questions are relatively operational aside and uh, we will request all the investors to get in touch with their distributor uh, they will help you to uh, now uh, set your goals and uh, make it uh, map with your investments so that uh, anyways you can track them and uh, uh, do the activities to uh, achieve your financial goals over to you sir any closing comments no thanks uh, thanks investors thank you for joining this session on a sunday morning i hope i could make some uh, I, 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 uh, i could add value some to your uh, investment uh, discussion or investment decision but one thing is for sure if you go with need based investing approach there is no downside rather there is always uh, a clarity of thought while investing and you will not redeem your money till the need accomplish so let's start this chapter if you are not started okay let's start the journey of need based investing and uh, ensure that all your needs get accomplished on this note i would like to end this session thank you for patiently listening this session uh, you can uh, you know close the uh, uh, session thank you thank you thank you sir thank you